So with an ankle sprain, I mean, ankle sprains are probably one of the most common injuries that any sportsman's ever going to have. And I would imagine most sports people have had an ankle sprain at some point within their career, whether you play on the, the local parks or whether you play professionally. So I think they're really, really common. I think as well, they're, they're one of the ones probably that are one of the worst treated, I think. I think they, people just ignore them too easily as well. Now, when it, if I, someone who had an ankle sprain, it, principles apply again, price. Get the compression, get the ice on. Now, I would do a really tight compression bandage for 10 minutes and then pack it with ice, or I would use a machine that does that for you, which we have. Um, so I think initially, as soon as someone comes off and they've done an ankle sprain, straight away, ice and compression. So you've really got to try and get that swelling down in those first early stages. And this is one area that really will swell up. If you've done an injury to your um, ankle, it will swell. If you've done an injury to one of your muscles, you probably won't notice the swelling, you'll just notice pain. Whereas an ankle, simple as that. If it's an injury, it will swell. Um, and I think you should always, always listen in, to your ankle in that way. If, if you can see swelling, you must listen to your body and say, okay, you know, you, you've injured something. So straight away, ice and compression, get that swelling down. And I think that part of the ankle rehab is vital. And you should work and work and work and work and work to get that swelling down. Because all the while there's swelling within the ankle joint, the balance and the proprioception work that you're going to do and, and try and walking around is never going to be the same. If you think you've got an ankle that, that has got a lot of fluid in it, and that is the, your connection between you and the, and the floor. So as you're walking along and you might you know, walk along a pavement, it's almost floating in a way. So therefore it's not going to have the same... Um, messages that are getting sent back to your brain to tell you when you're standing on a stone or when you're standing on something uneven, which is why I think people go over on them again. Uh, it, it's so easy it's because they don't actually get it right the first time round. So it's really important to get that swelling down, rest it, get it elevated. This is one of those things where you see, you know, uh, with price, getting the elevation there, getting the rest in, you've got the ice, you've got the compression, and then you've got the kind of protection. And what you want to do is, you must, must listen to that early stage. That's what I would do. Um, and, and I would, again, every hour you're icing it. You can stick it in, eventually you can stick it in an ice bath. Once the compression's out of the way, once those, I th for me, I think the first 24 hours are getting the compression because that's when you want to stop the bleeding. If you, if, if you read different books, um, often bleeding can stop even from 20 minutes to sort of six, eight hours. Um, something that's not as vascular uh, maybe as one of the muscles is going to be, you know, on, on the lower end of that. So for me, you don't need the compression after kind of the, the, the 24 hour period, but you still need that ice and you need to get into that, uh, get the inflammation in and out and getting, you know, get it reduced. So straight away I would do that. Resting it is, as I said, is massive. So walking around on it, it's going to swell up. If you stand up, it's going to swell. So you have to have to give it enough rest at those early stages. Quite often what I would do is actually put somebody in a walking boot, which is like a, a plastic boot that doesn't allow the ankle to move properly and take some of the weight off it. Now everybody will treat ankles differently, but that's the way I do it in the first couple of days, even if someone's got a quite a mild ankle sprain. Because what I want to do is get the thing, it reminds them that they've got an ankle injury. It gives a little bit of compression because of the way the boot is, but also it takes a bit of the weight bearing off them um, and, and encourages them to rest more and more because they don't want to walk around with a huge boot on. So that tends to be the, the kind of thought behind it. It also will protect the ligaments so that you're not allowing the ligaments at the ankle to move too much. Um, depending on how badly you injure it, you might even go onto crutches. If somebody's got a, a fairly severe injury, you, you, you have to go onto crutches and go non-weight bearing um, for a few days and then sort of see how things go. On the other side of that, you've got to encourage normal movement. So if you go for too long on crutches and in these boots, what's going to happen is the ankle's going to forget about how, you know, what it's like to be normal and what it's like to walk around. And walking is quite important to get normal stresses within the ankle. Your, your actual main ankle ligaments aren't really stressed that much during walking. It's one of the ones, it's the ligaments that are around it that really are. So you shouldn't put too much damage on once the ankle's starting to settle. By walking around in it and, and fairly quickly it will become pain-free even though it will still be quite swollen um, but as I say that's that's the early stages and you've got to get that balance right and I think especially with the ankle uh, the ankle injury it, you've got to 
um, you've got to listen to your body. Uh, so I would do that, do some electrotherapy, so I would do ultrasound, again I would do laser onto it um, and try and get it, uh, again to try and help in terms of the, the, the anti-inflammatory and try and get out the other side again. Um, and then, then you're starting to think about um, the proprioception and the balance work. Again, you do that quite early in certain circumstances and you can get them, I mean you can do proprioception and balance work sitting down. That's the out of all the, the treatments and all the rehab, that's the most important part of rehabilitating an ankle is your proprioception. And what you're doing is basically teaching that ankle to be normal again. And all the receptors that are in your ankle, and there's loads of them, need to know what it feels like to be normal and teaching them the different positions. And if they are on uneven ground, to teach them how to react to that. So that, that's the one thing that I think isn't done enough. Uh, and that's why I think there are so many re-injuries of ankles, is because the proprioception is never done enough.